Hello everyone and welcome to Station Quarantine. I think this is Station Quarantine at this point. Uh, my name is Jamie Higginbotham. I'm uh, the executive producer of Tomorrow. N normally at this point we'd be doing space news and Jared may still be working on something, but he mentioned in Discord how like all of the news coming out of space agencies is a little bit not positive right now. And really with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's kind of hard to get an optimistic view of the future. And that's sort of our shtick here on Tomorrow, is an optimistic view of tomorrow. You know, tomorrow will be better than yesterday was. So I thought it might be nice to, instead of doing what we normally do, since a good chunk of us are all stuck in quarantine, grab a camera and let us know what your favorite mission in the past was, like what inspired you yesterday, and then what your favorite mission you're looking forward to coming up or what your favorite thing about spaceflight is for tomorrow. So a story of yesterday and a story of tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do here on the Tomorrow channel. So leave your links in either the comments on our Discord channel, all of that fun jazz on how to get that information to me will be in the description below. So send those over to me and then what we'll do is we'll take them and we'll cut up your videos and we'll post them back here on the Tomorrow channel. Historically, when we do these things, no one replies. Like everyone's afraid to be in front of the camera. Don't be afraid. Just grab your iPhone, grab your Android phone, just like a quick 60 second to two minute, what inspires you? What makes you look forward to tomorrow? Let's, let's get some uplifting humanity news going, shall we? I will go ahead and start. Um, so I'll talk about yesterday. I'll say there were two missions for me personally that really cemented humans exploring space kind of for me just like in this core of my being, so to speak. The first was the OG2 mission for SpaceX. That is the very, very, very first time that SpaceX ever successfully landed a booster. Uh, it was also a return to flight mission. So it was like super nerve wracking the entire time. You could feel that moment at T0 everything just kind of slowed and then before you knew it we were at Mika and it was it was like the, it took from T minus one second to T plus one second felt like about five minutes and then from T plus one second to Miko felt like about five seconds that's that's kind of how that went like time did not make sense during that moment and when we hit Mika and the stages separated the energy in the air was just incredible the excitement the like the yes now we're into stage two flight but not done yet stage one returning back to earth never successfully recovered at this point right keep going out at sea not able to do it not able to do it coming to land coming to land for the first time not not just landing for the first time all previous attempts were out at the ocean this was the first time coming to land the first retur like the return to flight whole bunch of stuff going on and that booster successfully lands for the first time a decades worth of work all in that moment and you could hear it you could feel it you could feel the raw emotion LZ-1, the Falcon has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100, section 3 on LZ-1 beating that and recovering that. Repeat, the Falcon has landed. It was, it was so loud. It was so loud. It was the best kind of loud it was absolutely amazing and that's one of those things that you don't necessarily get more than once in your lifetime and i was lucky because i've thus far had it twice uh, the second moment that was like that was the falcon heavy demo flight three two
race on our test flight. Building on the history of Saturn V Apollo, returning pad 39A to interplanetary mission. This is the flight where um, the we never flown a heavy before, and both of the boosters came down. So another kind of like booster landing moment down at landing zones one and two, uh, and then Starman going off into space in that kind of iconic view. That same raw emotion was everywhere, everywhere around us, and and I I realized that. It, it, that moment that kind of connected all of us together, it almost in a way connected more than just SpaceX, it kind of connected humanity. Everyone could look at that. Everyone could look at that and go, yeah, this, this is an amazing accomplishment. This is exciting stuff. And that leads me to some of the things that I'm excited for in the future. And it's more than just SpaceX. It's these types of missions where it bonds all of us together. Uh, Starship is certainly going to be one of them, right? Like that's gonna launch and everyone's gonna be, this is amazing, because it will be amazing. But you also have new Glenn from Blue Origin. That's going to be equally amazing. That's going to be an exciting launch. That's a mammoth vehicle. That is a vehicle that opens up cis lunar space for us to be able to work in. That's incredible. Another one that might surprise the community, space launch system. I know, I know, everyone like, the, the money and the jobs program. I know, I know, I, I get it, but, but that launch, all of the problems aside, that launch, that first launch, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be amazingly gigantic and awesome. It will be a powerful rocket. And that rocket also enables some pretty cool things. It's going to be cool, and I am excited for it. I am legitimately excited for it. So, with that, those are some of the things that I'm excited for and why I'm excited for them. Everyone has a different story, and I would love to hear yours. Here on tomorrow, again, in the description, let me know. Record a quick little video. We'll put them all together. It's gonna be amazing. It just doesn't need to be super long, like one, two minutes, maybe. What was something that inspired you in the past? And what is something that will inspire you for tomorrow? Something for us to all look forward to. And then if you want to extend that again on my personal channel, Jamie's Bits, uh, we're going to extend that to just life in general. Some stories, some stories of your personal life, some stories um, that you're excited for once we get through this pandemic. Let's take a look at the, the positive and optimistic side and give, uh, give some people some hope in a, in a fairly dark and depressing time. I think that might be kind of fun. All right, from uh, Station Quarantine, this is Jamie signing off. Great. Right. See, this is why having this clock. Oh.